Hello everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Faven. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. I do appreciate that. I hope you're having a wonderful day, morning, evening on wherever you're at. Sorry, it's going to be a little bit bumpy because I am on my way home and it's very bumpy. This road is very, very bumpy. So I wanted to talk to you guys about fentramine and weight loss. So a little backtrack, I did have weight loss surgery three years ago. Um, unfortunately, I have gained, um, I have lost, I lost quite a bit of weight. I actually went from 280 to 200. I lost 80 pounds, but now I am at 234, 236. So I gained 30 pounds in one year. That is a lot of weight for anybody to gain 30 pounds in one year. I was basically gaining a pound a week. Um, and that is horrible. So um, I knew I was gaining weight, back weight, uh, because I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. I was drinking water. I was eating and drinking foods I was not supposed to. And then I would eat and I would fall asleep. So I would have all that food in my stomach. And I was overeating. I was overindulging in the foods I'm not supposed to be eating. And I knew what I was doing. I'm, I was taking um, Motrin. I was, I was just like really doing bad. Like all the old habits that I tried to change all came back. So the reason for me to make in this video is if you are a person that is attempting or thinking about doing weight loss surgery, first of all, congratulations for you even to think about changing your life, which is an amazing journey. Um, I would do it again, but this time I would truly make sure I was mentally, emotionally, and physically ready to do the surgery. The surgery is not something to play with. Is you are you putting your life under uh, in line of a physician that is cutting in you and taking portion of your stomach out so I had the gastric sleeve surgery meaning they took uh, about 80% of my stomach away so with that being said you know um, you're supposed to lose weight pretty fast not as fast as the full bariatric surgery if you had the full bariatric surgery if I had the full bariatric surgery I think I would have lost more weight I think I would have lost all my weight right now but um, I was having problems with my stomach before so they did not want to give me something that's going to make me even worse so with that being said I um, you know I had the surgery I lost weight um, three years later uh, I my old habits my I noticed my old habits creeping back um, last year I noticed it I noticed the old habits slowly coming back. When I get angry, frustrated, or whatever, I would go to um, eating unhealthy foods. I would go to eating snacks, and I would go to um, go to Dollar Tree and buy a box of candy or a box of donuts or whatever. And for breakfast, instead of having something that's very healthy, like a boiled egg or something, I would eat something from McDonald's. And then I start like going to McDonald's more often and doing fast food eating out and eating whatever everyone else was eating and not paying attention to what I was doing and it was actually hurting me in the long run but I it's not that I didn't care um, you can tell it's the last day of school because there's school paperwork everywhere everywhere at this middle school um, so basically my old habits came back not fully because I know because before I didn't care before I did not care if I was gaining weight or not I did not care um, because I was so depressed that um, I didn't care but now it's like okay I can tell that my face has definitely gotten back to being bigger not as big as it used to be but I can tell in pictures and videos that my face is it's definitely have I can tell how much weight I've gained in my face I can tell that um, the clothes that used to fit me really really good now they are feeling snug and I don't like it and um, the scale the scale doesn't lie the scale doesn't matter how much clothes I take off doesn't matter if I just 
went to the bathroom it doesn't matter the scale is not going to lie it might be a change of two to three pounds but it's still about the same um so i got really scared i don't think i have been scared about my weight before i just knew i needed to lose weight but i never did anything about it so i decided to go back to weight management and i actually saw my weight management today and uh, we work in the same building so it was easier for me to, to schedule and see one and i used to be on fentramine uh last year and it worked the only thing is it didn't constipate me so she said we'll try fentramine again because i gained significant amount of mono weight in one year it's very disappointing and very embarrassing to say but i did gain uh 30 pounds i've gained 30 pounds in basically a year i went all the way down to 200 and um now I'm back to 236 so I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm done um, so when I spoke to her today I told her the truth like before when I first went to weight management of course I said yes I'm drinking water yes I'm exercising yes I'm doing this and you know lying and not really telling the truth but this time I'm like no I'm not working out no I'm not drinking enough water no I'm I'm feeling exactly I told exactly the way I'm feeling exactly what I'm doing and she's like you know I'm I'm happy you told me the truth because she said if you if you tell me the truth it's easier for me to treat you and easier for me I'll be more willingly to give you fentramine because you told me the truth and she wants me to go back to food logging which I did food logging for like six six months before my surgery and I hated it because I noticed what I was eating how much I was eating of it and it just it made me feel horrible about myself but it did make me make me be accountable of what I was eating and then I'm like okay I know I'm gonna have to write this down um, so let me make a better choice and then when you see what you've been eating, it will, I would make a better choice. So I just went online on Google and I put down um, a food tracker or food log. I put down food log, uh, PDF food log, and I printed one that best fits me. And uh, I printed enough to last me for three months. Because on Fentramine, you can be on three months and then you got to be off for six months. Because it's a very potent potent drug um and it's a controlled substance that you have to see the doctor so today is may 23rd i don't see the um doctor in, not until four weeks from today so i think the 13th or the 14th 13th of july that's when i go back and see the weight loss uh, provider and um, we shall see like where I'm at um, and she told me like it's gonna be easier for me to lose weight because I did have the surgery um, I have the tool that I have I need to use it which is my smaller stomach so um, if you have any questions about fentramine how to take it when to take it um, actually she gave me the 37.5 milligrams I'm going to be cutting mine in half so I'm going to be taking um, half of that and then um, she told me it's, uh, it's probably better for me to take half but for the first two weeks I'm going to take a full uh, fentramine with taking um, uh, uh, Mus not Mucinex, uh, Miralax, uh, so that I could be able to go to the bathroom so I won't be so constipated. And then I will be weekly weighing in. I'm going to weigh in most likely because um, today's Wednesday, today's Thursday. Uh, so I'm going to be weighing in every Thursday uh, to see where I'm at. Or I might do every, actually I'll, I'll start doing every Friday mornings because I'm going to start fentramine tomorrow so I'm going to start first thing tomorrow morning with fentramine and um, weigh myself and see um, where I'm at and then in four weeks to see where I'm at because the last time in four weeks I did lose 15 pounds so I know it's doable and I know I can lose it 
and um, so I want to bring you guys along and to see if you guys have any questions um, leave in the comments bar below and I will get to you when I see the comments and till then make sure you like subscribe and share and I'll talk to you soon all right thanks bye